I think it's a terrible idea. Uh, and no, he needs to hear this, Randall. That's why we came here today, isn't it, Dr. Lee? I think it would be helpful. One week ago, you had a breakdown. Your blood pressure was through the roof, your vision was going in and out, and then paralysis, not to mention the tremors. It was scary. And you've only been out of the hospital for five days. And now he wants to pick up and take his father, uh, who, mm -mm, not even close to done, his father, who was in the throes of stage four cancer, no less, on a cross-country road isn't trip. Cross country. It's oh not. well, Memphis is not next door. You done? I am done. Okay. I got a little hot. You always get a little hot. Mm -mm, don't be cute. Okay. Well, you two sure are adorable. I know. We know. Look, Doctor Lee, um, I've been feeling much better, as you know. I've taken some time off work. I've been checking in with you. My stress tests have been good. My father doesn't have a lot of time left, and he'd very much like to show me where he's from. Maybe even introduce me to some extended family, which mm -hmm. for me would be a really big deal, you know? Now, my wife is naturally and adorably concerned. Curious your thoughts on the matter. I saw that. Ooh. What's up, AOL Build? Yes. Thank you, guys. Susan, so great to have you here Thank today. You. It's so great to be here. Look at that. I oh, know. Cool. I know. And we got yeah. the outside. Oh, oh. man. Oh man, my stomping grounds. In the <laughs> yeah, East we were just saying you're you're a Brooklyn girl. Yeah, right? and you're yeah. still living there. Yeah, and NYU is right around the corner, or right up the street, or yeah. wherever we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we're, we're welcome back, or welcome to, but you're here anyway. Yeah. So filming this is us, of course, in LA. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I, can we just talk about last week? Oh man, this is a spoiler alert. If you're watching <laughs> online, if you're in the audience, yeah. turn, you know yeah. that kind of thing. Turn the volume down. For yeah. A so yeah. you play Beth on the show, yeah. and um, we we lost a, a you know a major character last week. So yeah. uh, that must have been pretty hard. What was it like watching that back? Uh, the show. Did you cry? I tried. You know, mm, I went through so much shooting it. You know what I mean. I feel like I experience all my emotions when we when we kind of live through it as the characters. Mm -hmm. And then I watch it with a different mind in a way, unless I watch it with people, like if I watch it with friends, mm -hmm. then I, I try to see it as an audience member. If not, I'm still seeing it sort of as the artist, you know, assessing things and sort of figuring things out and then looking at other people's storylines and how it all fits together. But um, that was a tough episode to shoot. I could not be on set with, Ron and I would look each other in the eye, there's this, there's this scene where they're getting in the car to go to Memphis. And I bend down into the car and I look in his eyes and I say, and you take care of you. And the look Ron gave me, I said, Ron, stop, you can't do that. You can't do that. Right. He said, well, I said, you know what you're doing. He said, I know, I'm sorry. Because we kept looking at each other like he knows he's gonna leave, you know? And we knew that these moments were so precious, like having him on set. And, you know, and the way the show plays, there's room for, of course, to see William again, but you know, he's gone now in that everyday way, and and it was hard. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I mean, it was hard to watch, so I can't imagine how yeah. it is to shoot yeah. it. And even though we knew it was coming, of course, this is the character William. This is your husband on the show, Sterling, Sterling K. K. Brown's Brown. Randall's his dad. Yeah, um, Cephas Jones is fantastic. Suffering from cancer, yeah. um, he faced cancer, and we knew it was coming. It's still just like real life. It hurt just as, as much. Yeah, you know? my mother was like, why'd they have to set, up with a, set us up with a trip to Memphis? Couldn't she just... Couldn't they have found him in the bed one morning dead? And I was like, huh. Ah. I was like, it would have been easier. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, well, you know, this this idea of them bonding and him getting uh, Randall getting to meet his family and and then Ron, you know, then William doesn't come back and Beth is, yeah, bound to have a hard time with that. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. Mm -hmm. So um, the next episode, which airs next Tuesday, not tonight, mm -hmm. but a week from today, uh, we're going to see Randall probably come back home. Yeah. And, you know, you, you're like his rock on the show, I yeah. feel. Um, Try to be, yeah. What, you know. How are you going to be there for him? And what can you tease for that? <laughs> he might have to be there for me. <laughs> um, it's, it's difficult and, and it hits her. It's gonna hit her hard because 
they started off as strangers. If you watch the show, if you follow the show, they started off as as strangers, you know? And then she kind of sort of let them in, you know, and okay, and then he sort of, you know, figures his role out in the family and all of this, and then, and then they become family, and then they become friends, you know? So it's gonna be difficult, and, and she didn't have the opportunity to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. So there's all of that that she's going to be dealing with and um, and her being his main caretaker in a sense, you know, being at home with him and yeah. uh, you'll find out how much she's helped him in terms of medicine and doctors and all those things, you know, so it's it's going to have a, a big effect. Wow. And of course, your your daughters on the show are probably going to be affected by this as well. Yeah. yeah. You know, the, 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 I think it's in the previews. I think I can say this much that... Um, that they will take part in how the um, his memorial happens. You know what I mean? That's sort of their way of being able to process. We did see a little bit of like the celebration in the in the last yeah, teaser yeah, of what, yeah. what's uh -huh. going to happen. Uh -huh. So Sterling K. Brown, uh, he's wonderful on the show too. Yeah. He plays your husband, but mm -hmm. I understand you you knew each other ahead mm -hmm. before, before the yeah. yeah. How did that because how did of that, that building back there? NYU. Yeah. Yeah. So you studied yeah. together, right? We didn't, but oh, we didn't? we went through. Okay. Well, we went through the same program. same program. We weren't in the same year, but okay. we went through the same program. We knew each other, and and so this is my first opportunity to work with him. You know, I'd seen his work, and of course, he was at the public not so long ago, and I went to see his show just because Sterling's in it, and I love him as an actor, and so I've supported his work and things like that. This is our first time getting to work together is on this show. So what's it like, you know, working alongside him? What's he like on, on and off set? On set, Sterling is like, he's like, he's he does the work, man. You know, Sterling is, he takes his, the time to do the work. And when we're when we're in a scene, it's it's all about being there for one another. And then off set, we're just chatting it up. We're just having a good time, you yeah. know. We're looking at videos, looking at pictures, taking selfies, you know, <laughs> and um, talking and getting to know each other more because we didn't know each other so well um, in school. So we we get a chance to know each other, know each other more, and we have a good time. How would you describe Beth if you had to sum her her character up on the show? I think people describe her better than I do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I just kind of feel like, oh, I'm still learning her as I go. And I've found a way to enter into her more easily when I want to. But, but I find, like, I love hearing from people about her. Because I feel like people describe her in these ways. I'm like, really? She's that? Okay. All right. You know? And then I, and then I kind of just play the truth of whatever I think the scene is. But... For the most part, I think she's just somebody who's doing the best she can at every any given moment, you know what I mean, uh, with what she has. Mm -hmm. I don't know that she is too, you know, if she thinks so much about who she is and her, you know what I mean, or how people see her. I think she's somebody who keeps it very real, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, at any given time and is not afraid to do that. Um, which is good. I think she's a very honest person. Yeah. And I would say loyal, maybe the other word. She has your back. If she has your back, she's going to have your back. A hundred grand. Yeah. I love seeing the backstories of, you know, of course, the other characters on uh, on the show. Do mm -hmm. you think we'll ever get to see your, your character's backstory, Beth's backstory? You know, that has to be a possibility, right? With playing with time and everything like that. And we have the space now to do it because we have two more seasons. Um, have they thought about it that far? I'm not sure, you know, but I imagine that that's an option that's available to us. I know that we will definitely learn more about who she is and her family and her career and all those things. But in terms of how they play that out, I don't know. I don't know yet. How much of you is in Beth? Funny enough, I try to keep them as separate as I can because I like to play characters. Like, that's how if I could say I was raised as an artist, you know, to play a character, like don't phone it in, you know, and I'm not saying that that is, because a lot of people do play characters that are close to them and, and it works. But for me, don't do the work mm -hmm. of really finding what about this person might be actually different from you and finding their individual unique voice, but how that lives through me. So how I play Beth would be drastically different from how somebody else would choose to play her. But I also am aware when I'm doing like a Sueism, you yeah. know what I mean? And I try not to do those, you know? Yeah. I try to keep them Bethisms and, and, um, 
And uh, there are moments when I drop it in because I think, you know what, mm, I think that, that works right there. I'm going to do something that I, you know. But for the most part, I try to find her thing. Sure. I try to really carve out Beth's individual path separate from mine. But I do use the whole resource of all my experience and, mm -hmm. and other people's experiences and things like that to kind of make up this three-dimensional person yeah. sure mm -hmm. so we have two more episodes left uh, two left okay the season finale what we'll can you on March 14th. Or we'll yeah. s what can you tease about that and will fans be satisfied with the way the season winds down what can I tease about that probably nothing <laughs> I bet nothing at all I, I, yeah, I know what I can tease. okay it's on March 14th at 9 o'clock <laughs> on Tuesday. Clever. <laughs> yeah, right. Spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler. It's going to be on at 9. Um, and I don't think I can, you know, here's the thing. It's not like they bombard us with, don't say nothing, don't say, you know, mm -hmm. it's not like that. It's sort of like a general warning, like, don't spoil the fun of watching it. Because I do think that there is a fun in watching it that if you know too much ahead of time, can take away from, from the joy of it. So it's not like they build all these twists and turns just so we can have all these, this sort of drama. But there are things that people do anticipate, and I think it pulls away from that a bit if we just keep telling storylines. But as far as the finale mm -hmm. is concerned, um, there are, so there are aspects of, uh, Jack, Jack and Rebecca's mm -hmm. life that we've been tracking throughout the season. And we'll see a lot of that, you know, uh, some answers to those questions. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to that. I have a feeling maybe one or two of those questions might be answered. Maybe. I like it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, before This Is Us aired, there was a lot of buzz about the, the series, but mm -hmm. did you ever imagine it was going to be this runaway hit that it, that it became, or even when you went in and read for it or auditioned? No. I thought I thought it was good. I read the script and I'm and I mean like capital G O O D. I thought it was really good. And I was like, wow, this is just a great script and everybody felt the same way about it. But you never know what people are gonna, you know, sort of click with and take the journey with. And so you're always really grateful that somebody said, Hey, I like it too, you know? Mm -hmm. Um I was saying earlier that um you know, as an actor, the art is sort of not complete until the audience meets it. You know what I mean? That's the other piece of it. You know, it doesn't, I don't do it and then nobody sees it and then, you know. Um, but so the, the, the other, when the audience came into it, it just made the whole experience even that more wonderful, you know. And we're just so grateful that we, we get to play a story that resonates so much with people. You've had some meaningful scenes. You even had a nice meaningful scene with William back in the backyard when you guys are hanging out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right? Do you <laughs> yeah, we were hanging out, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a favorite scene that, um, that you've been involved in or that really touched you? That to be one that was I was involved in, those were some of my favorites with, with Ron and um, some of my favorite with Sterling was when we um, thought we were pregnant, that I might be oh, pregnant, yes. and that was really fun. Then I've had scenes that I've loved to watch. I loved watching Mandy when she told um, Jack that, um, you know, that she thought their marriage was, like right now they were at an eight and she needed him to bring up the score. You yeah. know what I mean? And all this, I love that. I love um, watching uh, Toby and Chrissy and, and I love when Toby jokes around, you know, with Chrissy and um, I love uh, watching Ron and Sterling. I think they've had some just beautiful scenes together. Uh, Justin, yep. big fan of that storyline. Milo, I love watching him with young Chrissy. Yes. That, those scenes always get me. Um, gosh, I, I could keep going. You know what I mean? <laughs> the, 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 the kids, you know what yes. I mean? At various ages, they are all our kids. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They're all such strong actors. And so I enjoy like so many different qualities and aspects of it and everybody I literally have a favorite moment for everybody yeah, right right yeah but I think mm -hmm. that's what about the show that's why people like it so much because there's something that you can relate to in mm -hmm. every character and every storyline right. I mean what if people come up to you and said oh you know have you heard some great stories well this show means this to me or this is this affected me this way yeah, yeah. I had somebody say um I'm an adoptee and my mother and I my adopted mother and I have a very broken relationship and we weren't speaking and I watched the show, and she and I have now been able to start a dialogue. And he called her, and they've been able to, to do that. I've had someone tell me that 
someone who's very dear chose to watch this show while they were transitioning into <laughs> spirit. You know what yeah. I mean? Like there were, I mean, there's been some moving, moving stories where I, and this is why I say, you know, I can't wrap my brain around it sometimes, except to know that it is a gift to be able to be a part of it, and I don't take it for granted. Um, but people have been so specific. I mean, mm -hmm. they, you know, I called my brother, you know, and I told my brother to watch it, and we watched the scene with Sterling, and the, you know, when they did the big three scene, and our, all, you know, all of us were in tears because that was like us, and the, you know, things like that. So people know the moments that, and they're tracking with us in that way. I've not experienced anything like that before. You know, I'm new to that kind of game. You know, I'm not gonna play like I'm not. So right. I'm very appreciative, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, before this, you've been on, on well, I know you from Louie. Mm -hmm. I wanna talk a little bit about that, okay. but you were on plenty of big television shows, but nothing yeah. to this extent where it's like every week we see you. Yeah. So has your life kind of personally changed and in what ways? I try to keep my 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 personal, like my, my private life, the same. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't really want that kind of change in my, in my private life. I just kind of still want to go around and just be Sue, you know, what, <laughs> you guys have no idea what that is, but it's a thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> just, you know, just be me and it's just chill. You know what I mean? But like on the day to day in the public, that has changed because mm -hmm. people know the show and they know who I am. And mm -hmm. so they shout you out, they show you love and, you know, give it back and that kind of thing. Um, and then, you know, a weekly job, that's different. <laughs> sure, Are there any sure. actors in the house? Anybody who's an actor? No? Bless your hearts. Yes. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's a steady like, gig. No, we have money. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, then, yeah. It's mm -hmm. I mean, it's competitive out there. So yeah. I know that this is, uh, you know, it's yeah. a big, this is us, this is a big deal. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so we know, we, we I knew you from Louie. You, uh, you play Louie's ex-wife mm -hmm. on the series. Mm -hmm. And I understand that you, when you went read for the part, you really didn't know you were going to be playing his ex-wife, right? No, who would know? <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. just not something you put together. Right. And, and nobody and told me. For the viewers out there, why would, why would we be surprised, right? Because his kids... His yeah, children are white. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Blonde hair, blue-eyed white. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so when you popped up, people were like, mm -hmm. wait, I don't, I don't understand, right? Black woman. They were like, who? Yeah. Did you say the nanny or did you say the ex? You know, and they were trying <laughs> to figure it out. And um, it was the ex. And I thought, oh, that's so bold, man. I love that he did that. And he did not try to explain it for a very long time. I think... The end of the second season I was in, he added a little line to sort of explain it, but he yeah. let it go on for like <laughs> season end. <laughs> Two whole seasons before he finally said something about it. And people were just like, okay, you know? And that's, he knows his audience. He knows yeah. he has a very smart audience, people who just want to hear story and see people who those stories are embodied by live it truthfully, and that's his audience. They, they're mm -hmm. like, oh, I can dig it. If that's what you say, we, we can rock with yeah, it. Yeah, we're going with it, right? We're going What's with it. he like as a creative person behind the scenes uh, when you're in scenes with him or whether you're reading the script, et cetera? People ask, like, is he like his character? Yeah, right. I don't think so. Yeah. I, he comes across as very um, confident, mm -hmm. you know, very much in his own skin. I, I love it, you know what I mean? And he's just, um, he knows... What he's doing is a strong idea of where he wants to go. He's very creative, smart, uh, funny, cool, laid back, you know? Mm -hmm. He's sort of like the antithesis of Louis to me. Now, yeah. if you get out somewhere and kind of be awkward, maybe, yeah. <laughs> but like when I was with him, I, he was all those things. And just, I, I admire what he's able to do on that show with that show, and with other shows. He's right. like the web series now. Right. Right? Pete and Horace and Pete yep. and all these other things that he's doing really creative, wonderful things on. So um, I, I would watch, most of the time I would take the time to be able to watch and observe what he's doing because I want to be able to do those same things, write and produce and be behind the camera and in front of the camera and do all these things at once. And there were days on set when he was literally doing all those things at once. <sighs> okay. No, I mean literally. Yeah, because you see in the from, credits. From, yeah, yeah, in front of the camera. We'd shoot something, he'd go back to Video Village, look at it, he'd rewrite something. So right there it was actor, director, writer, and then he would go to his computer and maybe do something like this, which means he knew what edit he wanted because he was gonna edit it later. You know what I mean? And then he had to sort of be the executive producer at the same time. People are coming to him asking him questions and things like that. So you, you gotta admire that. 
Mm-hmm. That's that's a mind. That's a really brilliant mind. Yeah, something to learn from too. Yeah, I'm sure, you can learn from him as well. Uh, that show is not on right now. Um, I know he's going to be bringing it back at some point, so hopefully awesome. we'll get to see you if that happens. Hey, I'd love to come yeah. back. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah. In between this is us. I'm yeah. imagining. So, what's the schedule like for you now that you're done shooting the mm-hmm. first season? When do you go back for season two? I would go back, I believe, late July, early okay. August. Kind okay. Of thing, so I have a good little hiatus. So, what are you going to do? Right now, I'm working on a one woman show that I'm I've written. Really? So, nice. yeah. So, I'm going to be working on that. You know, do the theater, film, looking at film projects and things like that so that um you know you great opportunity to do television and we can do all these other things at the same time so i'm going to take advantage of that okay what, yeah. anything you could tell us about the one woman show like what it with the premise yeah. Is? yeah it's well it's about an understudy who never gets to go on and so she kind of learns how to perform the whole piece by herself backstage <laughs> <laughs> and play all the characters and all the roles of this play that she loves so much. And it's around Shakespeare's uh, Measure for Measure. Wow, yeah. that's very cool. Yeah, okay. it's really fun. It's yeah. really fun and funny because she's like your average chick. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? New York girl. And, and, you know, to see her go back and forth from being, you know, this everyday person and, and jumping into this classical thing, you know, and, and speaking about how much she loves it and the passion that she has for it. Um, uh, and she plays with the audience. It's a lot of improv is in it, comedy, and um, and it's fun for me, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we hope to see that one day soon. Yeah. And uh, well, before we wrap up completely, I'd love to hear a couple of questions from the audience. We got one right here. Oh, uh, hey. So first off, I really love you in the show. Thank you. Really, really What's great. your name? Uh, Brett. Brett. Yeah, nice, yeah. To, meet nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so like you were saying that you kind of separate yourself from your character that you play. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm curious if there are other people on the show that you really identify with or there's like a certain event they're going through that it's just like, whoa, like this is like so close to home. So like, close. As we're shooting this. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've identified with a lot of Justin's storyline just because I'm an actor as well, and I know what that, you know, that thing of like sort of putting life on hold to try to get your career popping and all those types of things. Um, I think, you know, that journey I've tracked with a lot. And then there's just, you know, some of it is not exactly my life, but it's the truth of it resonates for whatever reason. Like I remember when there was one scene where Chrissy was in a car and she decided to binge with the, with the donuts. And it didn't have to be donuts for me, but I know that point where you said you weren't going to do something, and then you just go, forget it, I'm going to do it. You know? <laughs> and it's just that, uh, and then you, you start doing it, and it feels good, and you know it's, it's not going to be good. But to see the disappointment she had with herself, but that she had to like resign to that moment, because that's just what it was, those things live in me. you know. So it may not be the exact thing, but whatever it is about it resonates. Yeah. yeah. Oh, next. Hi. Hi. My name is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I watch the show with my husband, John. Oh, and one of the things that we love is the representation of our love mm-hmm. uh, with uh, Beth and Randall's character, mm-hmm. just that uh, that black love that's, yeah. um, that's represented there. Yeah. And I just want to know, are there any moments where you get the script or any moments in the writer's room where you're like, uh, no, Beth wouldn't say that, or no, Randall wouldn't say that, or because it just feels so, I'm, when we're watching it and like, oh yeah, that's me, I would definitely say that. Say or that. yeah, <laughs> that's Randall, oh, you would definitely, that's, that's you, John. So yeah. are there any moments like that where well, you, it just feels like, uh, maybe tweak it like this? I want to just shout out our writer's room because it's rare. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? They, they got their, they have their ear to the ground, man. They really write in a rhythm and, and a way that we speak. Now, there are moments, there's certain words that I'm like, oh, maybe she wouldn't say that word. You know what I mean? But it's small things. And then, like, we can play with it if it really feels just like, that really doesn't live in my body that way. I have to kind of say it like this. Then we have the freedom to do that. Because I think what they want most on the show is for it to resonate as truthful. So if that comes from our input, they're happy to, to have it. But they are very good at putting it on the page first. And then sometimes we just, you know, let's do it your way and then I'm gonna do it an alternate way like this and whichever works in the edit is what we'll, what we'll do. But it's one of the comments that we've gotten the most about people, I've had people text me like, my brother hit me, he was like, I know you ad lib you ad lib that Cisco line. That sound like you. And I was like, no, they wrote that. He said, that wasn't you. No, they wrote it. <laughs> I said, I did ad lib a line at the end, but just because I felt like, oh, there was an extra little beat there for a joke, but like the main of you know, they wrote. So it's a good 
you know what I mean, collaboration, but credit what credit is due. The writers are, they, they're doing their thing, yeah. Good job, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. One last question here from the crowd. Hey. Hey, my name is Brandon. Hey, Brand wait. Uh, Brandon? Oh, Brandon, I thought you said Randon. I was like, <laughs> Randall mixed with Brandon? Okay. Brandon. Okay. So I wanted to know, um, with being an actor, how did you conquer your fear of being in front of the camera and on stage? I conquer that, any anxiety with that leaves when I have proper preparation. So when I'm prepared for a scene, I don't feel nervous. Because I feel like, look, the thing I get to do is the thing I love to do. You know what I'm saying? So in some sense, innately, it comes with an audience. You know, So I don't fear the audience. And I feel like we're all there to, to enjoy it. You know, But I have this recurring dream. OK, we go in there, I guess. <laughs> um, but that like I'll get onto a stage, and I don't know the lines, or I don't know what I'm about to do for some reason. And it is the worst feeling to me. And that's, that, I think, out of anything, would shake me up. But if I'm prepared for it and I've done my homework, then I usually feel really good about, about giving it away, you know? You kind of have to give it away, or else it just, it's not mm -hmm. acting, you know? Yeah. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your wonderful questions. And Susan, thank you so much for coming thank by today on. and uh, bringing This Is Us into our living rooms and into our yeah. lives thank every you. week. It's been great. Tuesday nights, not tonight. Tuesday nights, tonight. 9 p.m. NBC. Yes, we're back to tonight. Yeah, <laughs> but we're back. <laughs> All right, give it up one more time for Susan. Thank you, guys. <laughs>